Hi, it's Bianca with Lotus Theory Designs, and today I'm going to briefly touch on how I created this patina look on this antique hutch using Dixie Belle's patina collection. This is going to be fun. Before I get started, you guys get your pen and paper ready. I'm going to give you your supply list. Here's a quick shot of what the hutch looked like before I put two coats of driftwood on the base. Driftwood is a perfect balance of light gray. When I say perfect balance, it is not yellow, it is not blue, it is not green, it is just gray. So if you're looking for the perfect gray, I would recommend this. I also use Dixie Belle's Palmetto. That is the green shade that you see here. In addition, I use the copper and bronze patina paint, mostly copper, but you'll get to see where I applied the bronze. For the patina paints, I use patina sprays green and blue. Um, funny, I just couldn't decide which I wanted to use, so I decided why not go big or go home and used both. Finishing up the project, I also used Best Dang Wax in black. I used their glaze in grunge, and I also embellished the details using Element, which is a decor wax by Redesign with Prima, and their Calypso Lattice stick and style stencil. For this video, I'm just gonna stick to the patina because I don't wanna overwhelm you with information. However, I do have a short video on how to use decor wax in this exact color. So you can visit my YouTube, subscribe, you can also see it on my blog or my social media pages. Moving on, let's get to it, guys. As you can see, I already have my driftwood on the base. I am taking the copper patina paint and I am spreading it around on the base. I'm not really too concerned about where I'm putting it at this point because I just don't really operate that way. I am more a free artist, go with the flow. So if you're trying to make sense of what I'm doing, good luck. Even I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So I'm putting on a nice thick coat of the copper and in a moment I am going to blend in the driftwood into places so that it is not just one solid block of copper. Some people spray when they're blending directly onto the piece a little bit of water to make the paints more pliable. I oftentimes will spray directly onto the paintbrush. There's no right or wrong here, it's whatever method works for you. So once I blend it in a little bit of driftwood, I'm going to go back to my copper brush and blend that in so that we have a more seamless transition between the two colors. You can go back and forth between your two paint colors as much as you need to. Um, really the goal here is just to get whatever look it is that you're going for. Again, there's no right or wrong. And now the fun can begin. So I'm grabbing my blue patina spray, I'm spraying it onto the copper, I'm reaching for that green, I'm spraying it onto the copper. We're gonna wait a few minutes on that side and see how it changes colors. In the meantime, I'm gonna do the same to the right side as I did on the left, blending the copper, blending the driftwood, getting my desired results, preparing for patina spray. So now that I've got the base done, you can see how the patina is starting to change color. It does take a few minutes, so while that's doing its thing, I'm doing mine, working my way up the hutch, adding copper, adding driftwood, blending, 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 and then I'm gonna go back with the same process and spray the patina spray. I think you guys get the point, so just keep watching for a few seconds and watch how this piece progresses before we move on to the next step, which will be blending in the palmetto.
So I know that I said that we were going to focus on patina, but surprise, we're also gonna talk about how I blended in the palmetto into this piece. I'm starting with a rim around all four edges of the door with the palmetto. I'm spraying a little bit of water on the door and then I'm going to add a layer of driftwood making sure that I overlap the palmetto. Remember when I said that some people like to spray their piece directly with water and that I tend to spray the paintbrush? Again, it's really whatever works for you. This is what works for me. I'm adding in another layer of the driftwood and coming back to my palmetto. You saw how I did the first door, now I'm just gonna roll right through and give you a speedy version of the second door. Same process on the drawers as on the doors. And now I am just touching up the areas where the green bled over a little bit because I want my blending to be contained inside of the trim. So the last thing that I want to show you guys on this piece is I did say that I would touch on where I used the bronze patina paint. I wanted to create a look that you get naturally over time. So you know that when you, you know, reach for the hardware, your skin oils are going to rub off and create authentic patina and grunginess slash dirtiness um, on your piece. So I wanted to create that look and I'm using the Dixie Belle bronze patina paint to do this and guess what I am not even going to use the patina spray on this because I want that bronze to show my process for this is to dip my sea sponge into the bronze paint and lightly dab it onto the places where I want that grungy look I'm taking my wet rag and removing the excess so that it blends in a little bit better you can do this as much or as little as you want like I said earlier it's really up to you Here you can see I am just touching up where the bronze overlapped into where I had blended the palmetto and driftwood. And again with the handy dandy wet rag, I am blending it in using that wiping off the excess. Some final thoughts for you guys. When I was finished adding the patina, the palmetto, blending in the driftwood, I did go and go over the piece in entirety with Dixie Belle's Grunge Glaze. Striving for a worn look, I also highlighted the piece using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in black. My very last step was to use the Calypso Lattice Stick and Style Stencil by Redesign with Prima on the drawer fronts. Using the Decor Wax in Element, I filled in the stencil and also highlighted the filigree and the trim pieces on the piece. That's what's giving me that beautiful brass look. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. Um, if there's any questions that I was not able to cover in this video, don't be shy. Reach out, ask me. I will help you as best as I can. Stay tuned for future projects from me. One way to stay in touch is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and do that, and that way you won't miss anything. A special thanks to Dixie Bell Paint Company, and also to Redesign with Prima. Until next time, Bianca, over and out.